Hello guys, today we continue exploring the code of Benjamin's blog that he released on GitHub for free. And today I wanted to show you how he structures the tests with the message that you can structure the test however you want inside of, for example, tests feature. You can create subfolders and divide your logic however you want. I haven't seen structure like this one, but I quite like it and I want to demonstrate it to you. And by the way, this is on his main branch, but in his newer branch called filament, it's not in the list. He actually changed the behavior and doesn't have that subfolders anymore. But still, I wanted to show you how you may want to divide your tests. What Benjamin did is dividing the feature tests, similarly how Laravel structures the folders. So there's app, HTTP, controllers, and then for each controller, which are invocable controller actually. There's a test of getting the route and asserting something. Then there's another test for another controller with a few methods. And then if we go back to test feature app HTTP, there's also middleware. So in this case, Benjamin is testing whether the middleware is applied with middleware and then assert something that is pushed or not pushed to the queue. And then if we go back to test feature app, there are separate tests for actions for, for example, generating post teaser. So there's an action file of generating post teaser. And this test specifically tests that action, calling that action class to generate and assert if the result is as expected. What are other folders, jobs, models, even providers test something about horizon and Nova. And then there are tests for routes, views, and even Vault specifically, and a few more general tests. So I'm not saying that the structure is good or bad, it's just an option. As in many things with Laravel, there are multiple options how to structure folders, classes, names, and stuff like that. So this is quite a unique structure I haven't seen before. That's why I wanted to show you as an example that you are in control of how you structure your classes, including in your tests, whether it's PHP unit or PEST, the logic is pretty much the same. What do you think about this structure? Would you do something like that? Like mimicking the app structure of Laravel in the tests? Or do you structure things differently if you have, for example, 100 tests? Share your opinion and experience in the comments below. And if you are new to testing, I have two courses on Laravel Daily.com. One of them is for beginners and another one is for advanced testing with mocking where I also touch PHP unit and pest. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.